Okay, so this is part two of the Scarecrow Paper Bag Puppet. So I am going to take my scrap of paper and I have these strips here. And these strips are going to be our straw. As scarecrows were often stuffed with straws and leaves in order to make them look realistic, like a real human so it would scare the birds. So I'm just going to stack them together and I'm actually gonna cut about this much off of them, about that much, just to get some shorter ones and even these might be a little bit long. I'm gonna set my short ones aside and I'm going to use my long ones. And I'm going to put the tips down on the paper because I'm going to glue the tips to my scarecrow. So I'm just going to stick them coming out of the hat. Yeah, it kind of does look very long. So I'm, you don't have to do this, but I think I want to trim my, my strips. There, shorter straw. And I will put these aside you can use these strips to decorate your bag and make clothes for your scarecrow or stick them out of the brim of the hat if you have one or wherever you want if you want to use them or you don't have to. So now I'm using some of the shorter ones to give my scarecrow some Now I'm using some of the shorter ones to give my scarecrow some hair. Oh, that one is very long. one's really short. This one is really short, so I'm going to stick it in the brim. This is what it looks like so far. And I think I'm going to trim them because they're a little long. And then I'm gonna finish decorating my hat by putting more pieces of straw sticking out of it. You can be as creative as you want to be. 
you can put as little or as less materials on your scarecrow that you want. I'm going to take a little piece and snip it and make it look like it's coming out of the patch. that. There, this is what it looks like so far. So now I am going to add a couple of leaves and often farmers wore overalls. So if you've ever seen an actual scarecrow, it might be dressed in overalls or it might not. So I'm going to make my scarecrow some overalls with maple leaf buttons. I'm taking one of my fall colors. I'm just drawing kind of like a square, just like this. And maybe I'll do a little bit of a pocket. Overalls often had pockets on the front. And then I'm gonna color it with my fall crayon just to give it some texture. I'm going to color my um, square, make my pocket a different color. And then maybe kind of like do polka dots for a shirt on the inside. Give it a little shading. So that's what he looks like now. I'm gonna cut out one of my buttons and I think I'm going to cut a yellow button and an orange button out of my leftover construction paper. So this is the button template. I still didn't cut out this leaf yet, so I'll do that in a moment. So what you can do is line your paper together like this and take your button and put it down on the paper and you can trace around it. Now you will notice that this one has four holes and some lines. If you look at a button on your jacket or a sweater, you'll notice that buttons have holes and they have thread that connects the holes. That's how your button stays on your clothes. So I'm going to draw those on my buttons. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to cut it out. Now, of course, the yellow one won't have anything on it, so I will draw on it.
going to put this yellow one, I think, right at the top of here. I'm going to put my homemade orange button on and then I'm going to cut out this other button and my other leaf. So just like the buttons, you can actually trace more leaves onto your scrap construction paper and cut them out. Um, sometimes leaves can be tricky, so you might want the help of a parent to help you with that. But here is my scarecrow puppet. I put the leaves around the rim on this one's hat. But each of my puppets that I've made are different. This one has leaves on the brim in a clump. And that one has leaves on like suspenders. And this one has no leaves and it only has two buttons. So you can make your puppets any way that you like. And then the best part is you can put on a puppet show. Oh, and I drew this one a tongue too. So maybe we should do that as well. When I did the mouth, I forgot to put a tongue inside. There we go. Now I can have a good puppet show. Thanks for joining me.